Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of the Gerber Dime Multi Tool. I bought it in red. It comes with different colors and you have to be really careful because the color means a huge difference in price. So you can see some or yeah this is 14 when you buy like fancy one the black is a little bit more expensive and other colors i am not absolutely sure if it's really the same but it's you see 27 33 31 dollars so you have to be really careful what color you pick for me it was either the red black or the uh the black where you have also a black knife so that has been my choice price was about the same but delivery the the black one was not available anytime soon so i decided for the red uh red and black one so why uh, did i buy this i usually you i'm using this victorinox swiss army knife and since i'm swiss of course i'm using this there was no question about this and this is really a good thing i mean this is not a toy it's not made in china it's made in switzerland and uh, i mean it says at least it's made in switzerland made in switzerland means um i think about 70 percent or so of the thing has to be made in switzerland so maybe the toothpick is, uh, yeah, the, here we have the toothpick that's made, maybe made in China, I don't know, or this, I think it's called tweezers, I'm not 100% sure, so, but it's always good to have something like this, and they really work, and, uh, yeah, it's really good, so, this is the small knife, you can open cardboard or whatever, it's really sharp, you have to be really careful with this thing, and almost the best thing are the scissors they work really good i can show you this even after a couple of years it's absolutely no problem to cut even into thicker paper uh, it's absolutely no problem you can even cut your fingernails i don't do that it's a little bit disgusting uh, <laughs> to see someone else cutting fingernails so i don't do that but it's I have already done this and it was no problem. So you can do this 100 times, 1000 times. It cuts absolutely the same after that. And this is really thick. Uh, this is almost like cardboard and you can easily cut and it makes a nice cut. So that's really, really good. And it costs, that's amazing. Even when it's made in Switzerland, it only costs... $12.87 on Amazon. I think that's the thing which I'm using. There are all red, uh, there are uh, even fancier ones like uh, transparent or semi transparent. I had one from my children with uh, like transparent with my name on it, but uh, at the airport, the guy, security guys, uh, took it away. It's ridiculous. with such a small knife but yeah i forgot it in my pants and they took it away so anyway i'm comparing these two things because price is really similar uh the thing what i'm usually missing or what i was missing with this swiss army knife is the pliers so apart from that it has actually more or less everything i mean the uh, screwdriver functionality is really limited but it, i think it doesn't have a, a lot uh, also here but i think with this one you can there's some thing basic um screwdriver functionality i think it's here yeah so you can use that and that's the yeah some kind of sanding thing you can use it for your fingernails that's really working not super good but it's working so that means i'm comparing these two things 
and I want to see the difference. I saw a lot of complaints. I mean, people were are, are, are quite happy with that. Uh, it's not a uh, number one bestseller. The Swiss Army Knife is a one, number one bestseller. But this one has also really good reviews. It has only four instead of four and a half. And some people say it's working, but it's not best quality. And when it comes to countries, I was looking, uh, people say it's made in China. I thought it's really a super cheap thing. But I was wondering about the name. Why does it say Gerber? I mean, it's like a Swiss or German name. Uh, we, we, we say Gerber, uh, but probably in, in US they say Gerber or something like this, Die Multitool. And I did some research on that. You can find a lot about this company in uh, Wikipedia or on their website. And it seems it's a really old traditional blade maker, knife maker in the US. It's uh, Portland, Oregon. And it says American manufacturing. But people say it's made in China. Uh, so I've checked the box. And on the box it says... I think it's designed in US. I hope I can focus. I'm still struggling with the light. Make it a little bit bigger. So, limited lifetime warranty, whatever that means. Maybe we see inside, yes. Designed and engineered in Oregon. That means it's definitely not made in US, but uh, probably made in China. Here we have the details. Not much more, but definitely it's... A good surprise. I was thinking everything is made in China, design everything, but it seems to be some kind of American product. And so let's put it side by side. It has really similar lengths, uh, but the the Gerber is very uh, is much thicker. So, but if you like to have it in your uh, pants pocket, I think this is still a good size. It's definitely heavier than this one. It's, yeah, I would say, I can't, can't really say, but it's, it's at least double weight. But apart from that, it's not super, uh, super heavy. But it look. I mean, it's it, it's heavy for the size, but it's not too heavy to carry all the time. I think it, and it has also this nice thing which you can put on your. You can use it for your uh, keys, key ring. So that's the good thing, and hopefully there's no sharp edge, so you can really wear it in your pocket. There's something here, which I don't like. I don't like these sharp edges. I hope you can see that. I don't know what it is exactly. There's something uh, not super sharp, but it is a little bit sharp and it could damage pants over time. It's it's really difficult to focus 100%. I don't know what it is exactly, but you see that that's definitely not what you want. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's it's hard to tell if it will uh, do some damage to the pants. Yeah, it's not super sharp. Maybe I can sand it a little bit. Apart from that, it feels there is nothing apart from that here. There is absolutely nothing with the Swiss Army knife. There's nothing which could damage your pants. That's good here. Mm, yeah, I don't know why they did that. I'm a little bit disappointed but yeah it is as it is so let's open that i've never opened something like that so now i'm struggling so yeah it seems you can open that from this side and then you have the pliers so that's yeah it's it's not too bad so it looks really stable so i mean it's not for professional work for 10 years but i think it's quite tough so should do uh, should be able to do a lot of things and what you have to be aware of it's not closing it's closing only at the tip you see that it's closing only at the tip and in in the back here 
you can use it uh, for um, wires to cut the probably to cut off the uh, tip uh, I mean the plastic uh, that's a good thing also here there's a, a thing which you can use to cut I think you can cut wires that's a good thing but it's it has a separate uh, knife knife uh, scissors so let's try and open all this stuff it's a little bit heavy I don't like it too much when there when it's too heavy to open then you usually don't use it when it's too heavy to open here we have the scissors so let's do the comparison it doesn't feel um, yeah like same quality as the Swiss Army knife scissors so just like from touching but I can't tell you so I, I only can tell after using that here okay it's doing its job let's maybe try a few of them yeah it's still cutting nicely let's see which one does a better job yeah of course yeah this is the the swiss army knife oh hope <laughs> sorry i lost a little bit of uh, focus and everything so the swiss army knife has definitely done the nicer cut hope you can see that a little bit it's it's difficult to see but it's the way cleaner cut that's a really clean cut that's a little bit yeah you see so the knife a lot of people have been complaining about the knife and yeah you can really feel it's not as sharp as the swiss army knife uh, scissors and you can really also see from outside that it's not as nicely made but yeah you can use it that there's nothing too much to complain about that so i'm really struggling to open uh, some of these things so if you have good nails then it should work if you don't have good nails then you could be out of luck a little bit <laughs> yeah here we have the knife there are more there's more stuff inside i i'm struggling to take it out so takes a while so i'm back here i was struggling a little bit with this thing to open everything but actually it's it's quite easy it looks more difficult as it is so but the blades or, or these things are a little bit hard to open here it's definitely easier there's no uh, risk to break your fingernails or something like that so it's it's really super easy it's so it's it's really absolutely amazing and what i like this end here it's uh, fully integrated into this uh into the body so there's nothing sharp so compared to this one i have found the thing which i have found is a little bit sharp that's the tweezers so here you find this you can take it down so that's a bad design so in, yeah when i compare this one and compare this one from the Swiss Army knife, the one from the Swiss Army knife is definitely they did a much better job. This plastic thing is fully integrated into the body uh, of the knife. This is really a sharp thing. It's yeah, it doesn't focus. It's it's too small. Maybe when I put the hand on it, yeah, you see, but it's nothing really. Uh, it's not needed to be that sharp so I will definitely sand that make it a little bit shorter and not so sharp so it doesn't cut my uh, pockets in my pants so when I'm wearing it for some time 
but yeah so that's it I, I i don't understand i don't understand why they why they did that it's really it's really not necessary to have something uh, as sharp i mean you, you have the perfect model you have a perfect sample this exists since, since about 10 or 20 or yeah, probably more years and it's working perfectly no need to uh, invent something and do a bad job so i don't understand but the thing is i was thinking that these are more blades or uh, screwdrivers or whatever in the middle this here and here but it's not it's probably just needed for the pliers to make them uh, strong enough or whatever so you just grab all the things from the side from this side from this side this side and yeah from all the four sides and you have everything so yeah there's nothing more here the I think that's a cardboard uh, cutter here we have the main blade I think it's on this side it seems not to be super sharp but mm, probably sharp enough <laughs> so I wouldn't risk uh, anything so the good thing is you have also a bottle opener that I really like so you have uh, some little bit other possibilities and I definitely like the pliers this is a thing which I was missing with the Smith Swiss army knife but of course you can see you can't add that in such a small tool they would have to totally redesign that or make it small, uh, the pliers smaller, and then it does, yeah, uh, it, it's hard to use that for bigger jobs. So, um, yeah, it's really hard to compare these two, two things even when they come at a similar price, but I think the overall quality is definitely better with this thing. So, if you absolutely need the pliers then of course you have to go with this if you don't need the pliers and just want to have a multi-tool to cut and do uh, small small jobs then probably you better go with the Swiss army knife it has a good reputation and it looks it doesn't have it for no reason so I will definitely put the both of the links to buy in the description so you can use it to buy the Gerber tool or the Swiss Army knife and if you have any questions just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and I hope I, 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 I was able to help you a little bit with that even uh, when it took a little bit long sorry about that but uh, yeah, I hope I was able to help you and if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.